Now, if you've been looking to have a home theater experience, but let's say you don't have the space or you're in an apartment and you don't want to have anything permanently mounted, you want something that's portable, easy to put up and take down. Well, in this video, you're going to see a perfect solution for that, combined with an amazing projector, uh, the AWOL 4K Tri-Laser Projector. We're talking about a screen that can go up and down in a matter of seconds. It requires no hardware to mount. Just put it on the floor, push a button, and you're ready to watch a movie. Uh, this is the Kestrel Tab Tension 2 CLR. And the cool thing about this screen from Elite Screens is that it allows you to watch movies in a room that it can be lit. It can have lights, as you can see here. You can actually have a lit area and not have to worry about not having a great experience. But when it gets dark, it gets amazing. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now this is a motorized four reason screen that with the simple push of a button, the screen rises within seconds to be able to give you a fantastic viewing experience. This has wide viewing angles and absorbs 95% of the, of the light that is being shot at it to be able to give you this great experience. Now, this is really designed for a projector that is um, right in front of it and then illuminating upwards. And you can see here that I have my um, AWOL actual 4K laser projector right in front of it. And it is doing a fantastic job when it comes to overall viewing experience. And even if you're close up or you're to the far right or to the far left, because of the viewing angle, you're going to have a great experience. Uh, this is going to be able to support easily um, any ultra short throw projector and it's going to enhance the contrast by over a hundred times. So this is going to make the blacks look blacker, make the colors pop out. Everything is going to be a much richer. And the cool thing about this is that this actual screen comes in 101 and 121 inch, um, I would say, aspect ratios of 16.9. So you're going to be able to have super large viewing experiences in your home. Now, if you do plan on, let's say, putting this more in a permanent situation where you're going to leave it there and you just want it to come up and come down, there's a couple things that it includes. It includes an infrared um, remote, a RF remote, and then it also has a 12-volt trigger. Now, what's so important about the trigger is that if you connect this to your projector, as soon as you power on the projector, the screen comes up. Super cool, right? So literally, power up your projector, and then all of a sudden, as your projector's turning on, you see the screen coming up meeting your projector and bam now you have uh, what could be like an invisible tv set or an invisible theater experience it's super cool so let's go ahead and check it out you're going to see it in my uh, formal living room again i have lots of windows and you're going to see the performance as you can see here uh, both day and night at the same time you can see how the colors are popping so the blacks are black the reds are vibrant yellows greens the full viewing experience has been enhanced because of the screen material that you have here. And literally, I just have this projector on the floor just a few inches, maybe 20 inches at most, from the actual screen itself. Now this rising screen from Elite Screen is going to give you literally the capability to turn any room into a home theater. And I want to show you uh, kind of like the environment that we're in. Let's talk about that just for a second. Uh, you can see to the left and to the right how much natural light is coming into this space. Behind it, you're going to see a fixed screen. This is actually an elite screen, short throw screen. Uh, that could be an option if you wanted to have a room turn into a home theater, but that's going to be permanent and it's going to be in place. In front of it, you can see a television and that's actually like a 70 inch, 70, 80 inch uh, TV. And then you have um, on the floor, you have the elite screen, rising screen. And I also then have an AOL, um, AWOL actually, uh, short throw projector. Now, the cool thing about this is that this screen is going to come with two remotes. One is going to be an RF remote, and then you have this additional remote, as well as you have a trigger-based remote. The trigger basically means that in the event that you turn on your projector, the screen will rise immediately once it detects the on. Uh, so that's really cool. So that's like having kind of like uh, uh, one of those hidden television sets that as soon as you turn on the projector, the screen is going to accompany it. But for the sake of this uh, demo, we're going to be using the remote here so you can see how quickly the screen comes up. So I'm going to go ahead and press the up button and you'll see the screen coming up. And the screen is relatively quiet. You'll notice on the sides that it looks like there's some wrinkles, but as this screen comes up, it's basically going to lock in place and then it's going to tighten. And you'll see those wrinkles that you may see here on the bottom area right there will basically disappear. So you'll see how that's going to kind of like get tight and then it's going to uh, disappear those wrinkles. 
And it's going to give you, again, that really uh, great viewing experience that you're going to see in a couple seconds. So there it is, full. It did its adjustment. And again, you can see what the experience is like. And you can see that there's some tabs on the sides and each uh, side. So you can see, I'll bring my finger in there. There's um, this side right here. And then you can see on this side right here, you see the same thing happening on both sides. Now we're gonna, redo, we're gonna lower it so you can see how fast it lowers. Now, again, this is how um, I would say portable and transformational. And you can see how it's literally um, wider than the TV and it's, uh, it's covering even the back permanent screen that we have there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna power this up um, have the projector uh, projecting so you can see what this experience is like, but you can see how fast this is actually retracting. I've turned on the projector and you can see a, a little bit on the sides here, but again, this is a ALR screen, which means that it is rejecting the surrounding light, but then absorbing the light and the image that's coming from the projector that's literally just sitting a couple inches from it. Watch what happens as we raise the screen. As you raise the screen, you're gonna start seeing the image represented with great black levels. Color levels are gonna be spot on. You can see how they're starting to show up on the bottom. And again, keep in mind what you're seeing on the left and the right, because you can see the amount of light that's in this room. And as you saw in the earlier part of this uh, review, once this is in complete darkness, this looks even better. So if you take a look at the YouTube logo that's over here on the side, right, where it says YouTube TV, you can see how black those blacks are, right? You can see how deep that is. And you're getting this with, again, this type of ambient light coming in. So that's what this screen is really all about. It's transforming any room into a home theater, even if the room isn't perfect, right? This is not about finding a room that will suit your screen and your video. This is more about transforming any room into a suitable viewing experience. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna launch some video content so you can see how great this looks in this specific scenario. And we're also gonna take a look at different viewing angles. All right, guys, so now what we're seeing is the overall playback and video experience, again, in a relatively lit room. Notice how vibrant the colors are. Notice how deep the blacks are. And again, this is probably the most difficult, I would say, viewing scenario for this screen because again, it's not in complete darkness. So imagine and just think about how much work the screen is doing in combination with this projector to give you the type of image that you see here. Uh, again, this is what this technology is all about. It's about turning any room into a theater. Now, you may be wondering, well, what's the viewing angle of a projector like this um, like? Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move the camera and we're gonna get closer to the screen just so you can see in real time what the experience is like. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer and I'm gonna come up and do like an extreme angle. I may have to put ourselves in focus just to make sure. So I'm really close to the screen now and I'm gonna show you just a distance wise my hand. So here's my hand and right there I'm touching the screen and you can see that I touched it. I'm gonna touch it again. That's how close I am. And notice the kind of video quality that we're getting in this scenario. You're getting a great video experience. And if I get even close to it in an extreme angle, the actual image itself is not suffering. Uh, so if you think about the size of your room and you're concerned, you know what, I really don't have a 10 by 10 room. I don't have a 20 by 20 room or anything that's gonna give you a lot of distance you can see the kind of video quality that you're getting even in extreme angles. So this is gonna give you really, really great video viewing regardless of the scenario that you're in. You literally have to have, and I'm gonna bring you down to the floor just for a second so you can see this. That, check this out, I'm gonna get right here for a sec. That is the projector, right? And this is the screen. That's how close this is. Again, we'll go down, projector, and the screen. Pretty freaking amazing that you could get that video quality. Again, so, so close up. Spectacular, and again, those viewing angles, that blurriness, that bokeh, that's, that's the video. That's not the projector, 
or the image. Now, for those of you who are curious as to what's happening behind the projector or the actual screen, I just want to show you, first of all, at the bottom there, there you have your RF trigger is um, hidden nicely tucked into the actual case. It does um, have a power switch, which I typically leave on when I'm using it, and then you have the power cord coming out there. On the back, this is the kind of magic that's happening here. So you can see kind of like the what makes the actual screen hold in its place and how it gets tight, right? So. This isn't really a thick type solution in any way. So you have your screen, you have these bars that give you certain support, and it just makes things, um, again, really nice and tight. And then there's obviously this little string that you can use to adjust to make sure that you have a good tension. But literally, that's what you're looking at, what's going on there, and it really doesn't take up that much space at all. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.